What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Asakura, the one who never knows best, bringing you some more Dragon Ball Fighters and continuing on with coverage of my, I want to say my most recent, but my City of Mayhem run from the last video. Like I said, we've been all over the place with this stuff, but yeah, basically, all right. I remember this, this, this nigga here, bro. 2H is his favorite button. Two, you gonna see, you're gonna see more 2Hs in this one match than you've seen in like my last six or seven fighters videos combined. Like it's, 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 uh, it acts different. Brought up J2H, this fucking whatever. I just this dude's a mm, something. Um. Also, by the way, if I forgive me. In my last video, I realized that the game audio was really, really low. I accidentally turned it down. I, I realize now. Um. I didn't even realize until somebody pointed it out. Um. I must have accidentally turned it out before I hit render. Somehow it that happens sometimes. Sometimes I accidentally bump a slider or scroll on my mouse and accidentally turn something down. And I guess I must have turned down the volume by mistake. But um, anyway, in our last video, we uh, actually won our first two matches pretty convincingly. Um, we did really well and even pulled off a, a really nasty double Sunday combo and we advanced into winners round three, winners round four. I don't remember if I got a buy or not that first round. And uh, we continued on with our team of Vegeta, Trunks, and 21. And now we're up against a player by the name of Ichiran, who plays a very Lotus Asakura looking team. In fact, this is a team that I do play, 18 Trunks, 21. He's playing in a different order than I do though, however, because he's playing 21 point with 18 in Trunks. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, yeah, so you'd think this would be a matchup I'd be very prepared for, but this player has a playstyle that I was not prepared for at all because I've never seen somebody who plays so. Hmm. Unpredictable. Unpredictable with this kind of team because, I mean, 18 trunks, 21, they're not really. There's another 2H. They're not really, uh. They're not really the type of characters who you typically see kind of wilding out, but, uh. This player definitely likes to wild out, and I, it, it, it well, <laughs> you're gonna see it. another Twitch. The dive there into the super, that, wow. Why not EX dive and run up J2H, because why not, I guess? I 5M there, and I didn't commit to the hit. Why did I 5M there? That had to be a misinput for a jump medium, uh, but it, it, <laughs> we reflect on the negative frames and get the punish anyway, so I'll take that full combo. We build enough bar for level three. Did I bring in 21 here? No, I just left in trunks for the level three. So it's fine. So you can see, he's kind of doing a number on us. Vegeta's down for the count. We've got no sparking. Trunks and 21 are both bleeding. However, oh, blocks the shining slash. What? Why did he reflect? It's J2H, just whatever. Full auto combo on block, because, sure, I just, ah, uh, meh, just, yeah, just. <laughs> Oh, brother. <laughs> Buy Android 21. And brings his, his Android 8. Oh, no. I thought he was going to bring an Android 18, but finishes off with the level 2 with Trunks. And now you're going to get a bit of a Trunks mirror match, I suppose. Uh, who's the superior Trunks player here? Let's find out. Find the air to air. We get the hit. I don't have enough bar to get a, a level 3 mid screen here, so we just take that. 2H again. I try to 2H him, first, or 2H him back, but I was a bit too early with mine. EX flip, he pretty much dashes forward. Yep, that was a bad, uh, that spark was super unnecessary and uncalled for, but I guess, I guess you gotta start dominant with the flex somehow. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was a really ugly game one. It was a really ugly game one, but it is what it is. It'd be like that, would it be like that, especially when it'd be like that. So, all I could do here was take a second to recompose, breathe, and try to do better in the second game. Um, like I said before, this is something I've been trying to do uh, in between these matches. Like, if I get steamrolled or if I get beat pretty badly in the game, I just reel back a little bit, just try to assess the situation. Okay, what happened there? What were, what, what, what went wrong? It's actually a bit of a tongue twister there. Say what went wrong. What went wrong? Five times fast. <laughs> anyway, yo, you and these two H's, nigga, what is good with you? Find the hit with the super dash, and then we. Drop the confirm and full auto combo and just bro like that yeah, just that super dash and uh, I mean you see it you 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 see it you you see it these these are the players that get me man these are the players that get me man my man's just running around whiffing two H's and auto combos and it's just yeah it's just yeah <laughs> what am I supposed to do man I I don't know I I, I don't know why these are the players that I I. I don't know why these are always the players that I struggle so much against, but 
I don't know. There's some. There's something missing in my gameplay that I just haven't figured out yet. But I, I, I've been, I've been breaking really hard, man. I just don't know what it is. Despite how well I feel like I was playing this day, it was not good enough to beat somebody who's whiffing dives into 2H. So I just, I don't know. To the corner, wake up jam. I somehow let him get away with that. My Oki was just really bad there. That's all me. It's the hit into the dive. Boom, boom. JH min screen. Man grab, dive into the Android 21 level 1, and then brings it. Oh, that, what? Wait, what? I was. And then the 2H, and then just. Okay. Just what's what's going on here, man? Just. I just don't have. I don't even know. I just don't even know. <laughs> you would think he's a fusion player, to be honest. I've never seen anybody play characters like 18 and Trunks and then play like this. It's. It's honestly mind blowing. Uh, to keep it a buck with you. We go. We're able to find the hit with the empty vanish into the dive. Gonna do the level three with 21. I'm, I'm having a hard time even commentating this because I'm just like my brain's trying to process what I'm witnessing. I, you can imagine how much more flustered I was in the middle of the, of the match, like in real time, trying to figure out what was going on. But yeah, I shouldn't have done 2H that. I should have done 5H. I wanted to go for a rejump and then I just kind of like blank. But it's it's whatever. We, we get the sliding lock gun off the base of Jesus. Assist. Wake up super dash. Okay. Well. Also, that was a whack combo. I don't know why I did that. But whatever. I I was so I was trying to do that dive to get over the CTF, not to like challenge it, because I like I know better, but and there's just no way he mashed auto combo with trunks and it beat my rocket kick. I did not just die to him mashing auto combo with trunks and it beating my rocket kick. Like that's just not what just Whiff, 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 whiff. I, he, so I, I definitely 2 h that right after he sparked, because he a million and one percent struck me as the type of player who was just going to super dash right away. It's like, oh yeah, this will be a free punish. And then he actually didn't, much to my surprise, but it just... Yeah. So here we are. Trunks mirror match, you know the vibes. Empty vanish here. I thought that was going to be a, a, something that could... And I... Yeah. You got it, bro. Got it. Got reset like three times there. Again, unnecessary flex, but okay. It's always the players that like... Yeah, and I'm sure that was intentional too. It's always the players who play like fucking crackheads, right? That that want to show off the most. It's, it's always the niggas like this who think they're nasty at the game. That's the craziest part too. But it is what it is. He beat me 2-0, so I'll hold that. I, I, I've got some words, but I'll keep them to myself and... You know, an L is an L, so we move on to the loser's bracket. I'll be back with that that match. Well, with the first match of the, anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. And so our first opponent in the loser's bracket was a Zamasu Goku Black and GT Goku player by the name of Azur6. Oh, and also before I forget, I did ask you guys for your opinion in the last video about, you know, me doing the copycat challenge and then regular rank videos and everything of that nature and how to proceed about, or how to proceed with that and, and go about doing it in the future. And it seems that most of you uh, like the idea of me going back to playing like my main stuff on PlayStation and then doing the copycat challenge on PC rank because I'm, I actually did rank up today on stream because I did play a bit more ranked on stream because why not? Oh, rocket kick, hold that. Um, I'm actually Pride Trooper right now, but again, still 7 million BP behind where I am on PlayStation. So we're, we're going to start getting back on that grind uh, more seriously to Zeno rank. And then uh, on PC, we're going to have a bit more fun with it. Well, more fun for you than it is for me, because, I mean, for me, playing my characters is what's really fun in this game, but it is what it is. That being said, we take out Azores and Zamasu pretty quickly, pretty convincingly. Glad to see that we're off to a strong start here in the loser's bracket. No block on the 6M, but it's fine. And then I get caught with a 5M, probably trying to backdash or something. Not sure why he vanished that. I don't know if that was a combo or some sort of setup. Um, I hadn't seen somebody do something like that before, but I get Trunks out, bring Vegeta back in, Rocket Kick out of the corner, he whips it to which I vanish the vanish, because he vanishes the cover is with. And he pops the spark, which is fine by me. Oh, 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 get me out of there, Rocket Kick, 21 assist whisk, but it's fine, I'm patiently planted my feet on the ground, we get the 2 wage into the loops, bombos. Yes sir, could I have gotten one more there? I actually, I wasn't counting. I think I could have gotten one more there, I'm not entirely certain. But into the level 3 after the command grab, big boy damage, you know what I'm saying? And I mess up Yoki, but it's fine. Until it wasn't. <laughs> it was fine, and then it wasn't. Because I tried to 2H forgetting that he was in sparking. Tried to send myself with Rock Kick. That didn't really work out, and I'm getting punished. And then it, 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 it ease what it ease. We still have our sparking, though. 
But instead of spending it to save Vegeta, we're just going to tag back in the trunks. Now, probably should have actually brought in 21, not only because she's got more health, but also just because I didn't have much bar. And I got the hit there, but it's, it, you know, it's fine. It's not fine. It's fine. It's not fine. It's fine. <laughs> slop. Slop. But I would take this slop. You know what? Actually, I did stream today and I played some ranked and stuff and I got some practice in with June. And I feel like today I was starting to play more like myself. I'm still not back at the level that I felt like I was. Um, but I wasn't losing literally every single match that I had. You know what I mean? And I played some games with Dion today as well over on PlayStation. Uh, C-Reacts, as, as you guys know. And... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm still not feeling super confident for Frosty. Obviously, I'm going to try to do my best. And, uh, you know, we'll see if I can if, if I can uh, not go 0-2. But, um, I don't know. I'm still just not back at... Uh, I'm just not feeling like my usual self just yet. I'm just not feeling like my usual self just yet. I feel like if I can get to, to what I think is my best, we could do pretty decent. But we'll see if we actually manage to accomplish that. Oh, no confirmed there after 21 assists for me. Full auto combo to God size. So he didn't try to reflect. We stayed just, just patient enough to punish the reflect. He didn't want to hold those negative frames. I understand. It is what it is. But that's going to be us taking the first game over Azor. Man, I, I think I've talked about this before. But it's funny because as I sit here and I watch Goku Black, it's like this character keeps changing but really stays the same. You know what I mean? Like he, he's gotten improvements. Um, and honestly, in this last patch, he's gotten a lot of stuff that, you know, people wanted the character to get, like mix and, and things of that nature, and a faster command grab, and uh, what else, you know, he's got better dive kick combos and things like that, and it's just, I don't, it's, it's just funny how a character like that is, you know, he's in very similar categories as Trunks, I don't, I'm getting myself slight deja vu, so I don't remember if I talked about this on stream or in a video already, I know I talked about it before, I just don't remember if it was on stream or in a video is what I mean, um, but alright, my guy's neutral is just, Flash Fist Fury, uh, is it Flash Fist or is it the other move? I forget the name, it doesn't fucking matter. Anyway, the point is, Goku Black and Trunks are two characters that the changes they get never really amount to anything. And even when you get a character like Goku Black where all his flaws or the things that the community asks for gets addressed, he doesn't really move at all, like in the tier list of the character users. Goku Black used to be so popular at the start, right? When we thought he was a lot stronger than he actually is. And uh, wow, that's crazy. I don't know why Super Dash like a scrub there anyway, but it's fine. Um. But it's like, I don't know, it's, I, I guess he just doesn't fit in the current meta of the game because he doesn't have or isn't able to do what the other characters do. And by that, I mean, he doesn't have like a super powerful EX move that you just throw around in neutral. I mean, we whiff God Slicer and, and EX kick anyway, but it's like that, that Goku Black's EX moves are nowhere near as powerful as like a Vegito or a Gogeta or like even Janemba, you know what I mean? Like Janemba's Sword Slasher. Even like base Vegeta, you know, I I, I wouldn't say base Vegeta's EX moves are as strong as like Vegeta or Gogeta, but they are still decent in their own way. Um, I they're a lot more committal and way riskier and a lot more punishable because Vegito's moves, for example, have no fucking whiff recovery whatsoever. But it, it's, it's neither here nor there. We have a character like Goku Black, who's like God Slicer, is like kind of slow. You don't you're not able to combo off of it without spending bar on a vanish or, or an assist, and then the damage you get off it isn't that great in the first place, as opposed to Character like Vegito doing EX legs and then getting the wall bounce in a full combo that, you know, is medium scaled and doesn't require any extra assists or anything like that. And, uh, you know, it's safe on block, doesn't require. It's. It's funny. It, it's just funny. I, <laughs> I somehow always manage to find a way to talk about the, the characters I don't like, huh? But, I mean, you see, you see what I mean, right? It's just like Goku Black as a character improved a lot, is, is the point that I'm trying to make. But it still doesn't mean anything. It, and it's like characters like Trunks and Goku Black are always getting changes that in the end don't amount to anything. You know, tried so hard, got so far, in the end it doesn't even matter. Like Goku Black, he's got mix. He's got a fastest command grab. Doesn't matter. You know? He's got a better dive kick. Doesn't matter. It's really a shame. It's really a shame. Not as big of a shame as this beatdown that we gave to Azor, but you know. We take those. We end up taking things too. And I feel like that was a quick video, even quicker than the last video. And the last video felt really fast as well. But um, yeah, I feel like I didn't give a whole lot of commentary during that actual match, but I just got sidetracked with the tangents and whatnot. Uh, but we kind of speed ran that. We kind of speed ran that. But um, I, you know, I think Nokami actually made a video 
talking about Goku Black and why nobody plays it. And by the way, if you guys aren't already subscribed to No Comedy, you definitely should be. Link to his channel will actually be in the description down below as long as I don't forget. Uh, but he is a obviously very knowledgeable and very skilled player. Uh, top 8 EVO, the first year of the game, 2018. Uh, he's one of the original Goku Blacks. He was the Goku Black player after all. He was the one who made that crazy Goku Black comeback um, in Top 8. Was it against Kubo? I want to say it was against Kubo. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was against the player Kubo. And um, he made a video talking about, you know, why nobody plays Goku Black. And, you know, I, I feel him. And I agree with a lot of what he's talking about. And he has a whole series, I think, uh, on his channel where he talks about, you know, the strengths and weaknesses of characters. Why nobody plays this character or why this character is stronger than people think. And um, with Goku Black, you know, it's like... I think he has the same issue as Trunks where he's very dependent on resources, whether that be assists or meter. And uh, the reward you get isn't that great either. And it's just... Not only does he have that issue, but he doesn't have, you know, crazy normals like a, a Gogeta 5M or Vegito 5M or even a Gogeta 2M, right? Characters with those big buttons are definitely the meta right now. Uh, his damage is okay, but it's not comparable to those characters either. Same thing goes for Trunks. Uh, his mix also does uh, really require, uh, you know, resource and it's, you know, it's not the hardest thing in the world, but it's not the easiest thing in the world either. Like, it's, it's... Obviously, it's they, they made it a way easier, like way easier in, in this patch in this current version of the game. But you know, it's even easier than that. Same side sword across of JH. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but I digress. I don't know. I don't know. I, I wish Goku Black and Trunks were better in this game, and I, I love both those characters. And like, Goku Black is still a character I go back to all the time. And you might not have been around long enough to know, but Goku Black actually used to be a main character of mine, and I ended up dropping him for Android 18. But well. Okay, so when the game first came out, my main team was Android 18, or it was Trunks, Android 18, Goku Black, right? And then eventually, uh, you know, I, I played some other teams here and there, whatever, I experimented a bit, but that was my main team at, at the start for a while. And then I dropped Android 18 for Adult Gohan, um, and I was playing Trunks, Gohan, Goku Black, I want to say. And then when Bardock came out, I started playing Bardock, Trunks, Goku Black, and then eventually I dropped Goku Black and went back to Android 18 because the main reason why I ever even dropped Android 18 is because I felt like I wasn't good enough as a player to make use of her. I wasn't utilizing her uh, to the best of her ability and I, I'm still not using any of my characters to the best of their ability. But there was a character who I just felt like I wasn't good enough with and I was already struggling a lot with Trunks at the time because Trunks was my favorite character but he was my worst character. Believe it or not, for most of season one, if not all of season one, Trunks was my worst character. Um, and I, I was like, all right, I want to work really, really hard at getting really good with Trunks because he's my favorite. And I wanted to play uh, Goku Black still, and he was pretty easy. And he was actually my best character at the time. And I was like, all right, I'm going to put down 18 for a little while. I'm going to play somebody else. And I picked up a little Gohan. Then when Bardock came out, I played Bardock, Trunks, Goku Black. And then eventually, I dropped Goku Black, who at the time was still my best character. I dropped him in order to go back to Android 18. This was after experimenting a while because I tried out uh, Base Vegeta. I really wanted to play Base Vegeta, um, but I wasn't good enough. Um, I did not know how to do any of his combos until really season three. I played him a lot in season two. I actually did drop 18 at the start of season two for Base Vegeta and I'm going back to her. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm i all over the place with, the, with this story. But yeah, eventually I, I tried out Android 17 as well. When Android 17 came out, I really wanted to play him. I wanted to make him. But, with him, it was the same thing as Android 18, where I felt like I just wasn't good enough at the game, or my brain wasn't big enough to understand how he worked. So I just went back to you know my 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 shit. But um, yeah, eventually I got to the point where I was confident and comfortable with playing 18, and you know now my 18 is pretty okay. And uh, you know she's she's the main character of mine. And I played 18 Bardock Trunks pretty much every season. Um, in season two, like I said, I dropped her for a short while for base Vegeta, and I was playing a lot of Android 21 in season two as well. Um, and it's funny because then eventually Sonic Fox picked up Base Vegeta and Base Vegeta got nerfed. Um, and then Sonic Fox picked up Android 21 and 21 somehow getting buffed. Uh, she's the only character I play that does, doesn't get nerfed into the ground somehow and I, I pray that stays the same. Um, but uh, I eventually went back to 18 product Trunks in Season 2 as well just because I still couldn't do Base Vegeta's combos. And even though I got pretty good or I was getting better with 21, something just still wasn't clicking. Uh, something just wasn't clicking. And eventually in Season 3, I learned Vegeta combos and something clicked with 21, I figured shit out and I'm still struggling in some areas, particularly when it comes to Oki, I don't know why I just, I'm so inconsistent with that, but I think it's safe to say, I mean, a lot of you guys are actually telling me in my comments lately that 21 is my best character, 
you guys a lot of you right now think right now 21 is better than trunks well 21 is a stronger character than trunks but you guys think that my 21 is just as good or maybe even slightly better than my trunks which with her being a better character overall you just think my best character is 21 which might be true now i don't know i don't think i agree with her being better than trunks but she well, better than with me being better with her than i am with trunks but they, they might be on par i don't know i'm not sure they're definitely my top two though in terms of my my skill and my play with them for sure for sure I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. I, I drank this on long enough. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. So you can stay tuned for all this content that I bring you. With all that being said, it's pretty much off today. And remember, let's get out of the from the back. Later.